Welcome back to beautiful Brighton, Utah for the Utah State Championships presented by MVP Disc Sports. I am Ian Anderson, again joined by my man, Corey Merle. How you doing, Corey? Oh, I could not be doing better. I am coming to you live from the backseat of a Jeep Wrangler located in beautiful Salt Lake City, having the time of our lives here at the Utah State Championships. Look at this B-roll. We're on the side of a wow. mountain, Ian. It is unbelievably beautiful up there. And a little earlier this year, so we're not getting snowed on final round <laughs> like Great last point. year. That was an we experience. Are, yes, we are in the summer. That means the leaves aren't quite changing, but the risk of blizzard is low. We'll, we'll take that for sure. We'll take hole yes. 10 too. What are we doing? Uh, we are throwing it up. Par four, 589 okay. feet. Uh, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of distance, but I believe that 589 is as the crow flies. Your first mm. shot is just throwing boom, boom, righty backhand, lefty flick, just trying to get into this open area. Second shot is gonna be pretty uphill, um, so maybe add some effective distance onto the shot, but green, not too cluttered, but really you're just trying to be right of that road. Uh, give yourself a better chance at this putt. Day has the tee. One of the least technical drives uh, that we have on the course, you know, it's not necessarily, mm -hmm. you're not trying to hit a specific spot, hit a specific line. It's really just unload, you know? The Kim forehand. Yeah, that forehand kind of reminds me of a uh, Austin Turner, Corey. <laughs> it's a Chris Clemens <laughs> forehand if I've ever seen it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Kozlowski's looking pretty nice, man. Way up the fairway. He, he crushed that too. one, man. Yeah, so, yeah. like, the other guys might have cut the corner a little bit, but that was just the raw distance. Yeah. Martin? Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, I don't think. Right. No. Good shot. All, all good shots. Um, some further than others, but right where you want to be. Oh, no. Second for Kessler. Is there a putt over there, Corey? Um, technically, yes. Uh, not an enviable one, but... Mm. It's, you know, it's not a, so cluttered of a green. He'll have something to work with. Day coming up a little short for his second. He'll have an uphill look for Birdie. Coming up, Kim throwing two. Good rip. Mm. A little long, but close enough to where it's not so sketchy. Yeah. Kozlowski. Good enough? Good enough. He is right under that tree. Um, from the fairway, there's a tree with a big light on it. That's kind of like your uh, your guide to the shot. But, ooh. Mm -hmm. mm, not the reaction Martin you want off, off the, the basket. Top. Yeah. No. A little bit of work left on that par. Birdie look for day, though. <laughs> the <laughs> stepper doesn't quite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I thought the grass would stop that. Yeah, not really uncouth, as some would say. Kozlowski for birdie. Yeah, good, birdie. Yeah, good putt. Mm -hmm. For par. Martin. Oh, Perfect can putt. putt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Martin or uh, Kessler Martin works at Infinite, but is sponsored by Innova in a weird uh, kind of nuance there. But <laughs> he is the creative director over at Infinite, so kind of I would imagine responsible for a lot of that cool art, some of the media they're producing. Just good work. Awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're a fantastic company. Kim starts off his back nine with a nice birdie. There is a par cleanup out of day. Nicely done, despite the roll away. Yeah, good tough putts there on the on you know the par cleanups. You didn't necessarily want to have to do that, but hey, all good. Mm -hmm. So good they had a, they choice. had a warm up tournament for this uh, you know this layout a few weeks back, kind of unsanctioned to get a feel for how the new holes were playing. A tree, uh -huh. literally the morning of the first round, a massive tree fell in front of that tee pad. Shouts to Chaz and the whole Brighton team <laughs> for getting it all cleaned up. You would never have known. Wow. Yeah. We are looking at hole 11 core. We're going downhill, and this one kind of a tough one to really stick. It, yes, especially because today it is playing with a very stiff headwind. So Ooh. 315 feet, um, not aggressively downhill, but that gentle downhill slope the whole way. So really difficult to keep your disc nose down in this headwind mm -hmm. and straight. It is, it's very wow. technical. Kim 
up first when socking for the game <laughs> yeah a good reaction honestly great reaction off the tree yes yeah Kozlowski and the job here is just to miss right you do not want to go down the hill left that's what he's thinking too it looks like Corey Yep, yeah, definitely, like, play that little baby Annie in the whole way. It doesn't fall off as much as maybe you might be thinking. Um, you know, mm -hmm. a fairly... Whoa. It's like there's a big gap right up the middle, and then this happens. Yeah. Long right, it looks like, for day. Yeah, but honestly, so far, best of the bunch. Maybe 35 feet. Ooh, Martin mm -hmm. off the course, and now back on. <laughs> The, the natural nice. grade of the hill plays well for the sidearm. I really like that. Just tough to commit to that kind of baby turn into the wind. Yeah, I think it's definitely the shot if you got it. A really nice approach for par by mm -hmm. Kessler. Kim, a long look at two. Ooh, half go. Yeah, definitely half go. Yeah. Kozlowski, that's a, that's a zero go. Yeah, it's a zero. It's kind of cool. A lot of these holes have... Ooh, as Seth is lining something up tricky. Ooh. Um, a lot of these holes have lost disc drop zones. You know, with such extreme oh. elevation and, and hiking, you know, mm -hmm. last thing you want to do is get to the bottom of the hill, can't find your disc, and hike all the way back up. Pace mm -hmm. of play affected, your mental just fatigue affected, the whole deal. Um, so I kind of like it, you know? Lost disc drop zones, like a lot of times halfway down the fairway, gives yourself a fine look at bogey, but just kind of a unique nuance of this course. Yeah, you can definitely sail one over the wrong, the wrong edge, and she gone. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at this thumber. Day. Really the world's best. I want to see him and Kester go at it. Well, so, now, I don't want to publicize this, and I'm sure Seth doesn't want to, but he thinks Jake Wolf might actually be able to get him uh, if he went for it. It's kind of a process. Huh. You have to go through with yeah, yeah. and get a whole thing. Um, Interesting. But, yeah, something to get... <laughs> Jake's kind of a beast, but Seth uh, is current reigning champion. Cool. Well, 12 is, is cool, Corey. I like it. This one's awesome, dude. Um, two options, essentially, off of the tee. You can play this mm -hmm. straight gap and shoot a laser right at this hillside. Um, or there is, like, the kind of intermediate spike hyzer line, if you're feeling it, off to the right. Um, having said that, I think all these guys are going to opt for this up the gut shot. Kind of only one option for the lefty as well, and he takes it, and oh, what a fight through the woods. Lovely fight through. A little bit of slippage <laughs> off the tee. You can see that oh, these tee pads, wow. you know, can get a little dusty. We're out, yep. in, we're out in the elements here. <laughs> Kozlowski going up the gut with the mid, it looks like. I like the mid play. It's, Dude, it's only how? 267. You know, it might play yeah. a little longer, slightly uphill, but just slam it into the wood, into the hillside there. Day. This, oh, Thummer. It, it is a thumber, right? Or is that a yep. sidearm? That's a thumber. That's like a three quarters angle thumber. What, like a Schwebby style thumber? Sh straight up North Carolina thumber. Yes. Love that. So good. Martin, go in. Oh, buddy. Dude, this is the hole, man. Oh. It's like if you're throwing a good shot, it looks <laughs> like it's going in. Yeah, we had two ace runs right there. Mm -hmm. There was a long bid out of Kim, not too aggressive. Day, bottom of the hill, coming back no. up. Don't do <sighs> this. Don't Ian. do this, Corey. Ian, oh no! Get oh your, no! Get, get your get your. Uh, <laughs> this is a roll away no Hall way. of Fame contender. Roll away Hall of Fame contender. Oh. oh my gosh! And he looks so much closer than this, this angle is giving him credit for. <laughs> I know. Oh yeah, my gosh. Brian had already bailed on the green. I'm like, hey buddy, you want to turn around real quick? Film that one for me. <laughs> oh man! Can he clean this up? Yes! yes. What a band aid putt for Bogey. He's sick up and down, right? Oh my gosh, man. Oh, that was brutal. You know, there were, there's consideration of re-putting, you know, but I yeah, think sure. he was a little farther away to realistically yeah, do that, could, you know what I mean? Yeah, he could, he could get his next shot inside his previous putt, basically. Yeah. Good birdie out of Joey, a good birdie out of Martin. Absolutely horrifying putts from any distance longer than maybe 16 feet on that side of the basket. <laughs> I did not think about that, but that is facts, Corey. Yes. They were putting straight down the hill. Kim cleans up par, despite the loose drive. One more look at this Kozlowski rip up the middle. Ooh, he's going like FD or something almost. It almost looked like a little faster Was it? than mid-range. It looks, oh, it looks okay. fairway -y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll buy that. Ooh, I almost want to buy one after that throw. <laughs> 
We'll be right back after this break. Salt Lake City for three decades. Every day, our passionate team pulls on their boots and gets down to business, making Utah's favorite craft beer focus on quality and consistency. So you know, when you pack the Uinta, it's the right choice for the occasion. State Championships, looking at 13. Oof, top of the world, or at least as close as you're going to get it here at Brighton Ski Resort. Um, par 3, 432 feet. You're throwing downhill with this entire basin at your uh, at your disposal here. Tricky for a lefty or a sidearm play with that uh, the lift being right there. Depending on where the actual chairs stop, it can be right in your way. And today, right in the way. Um, it should be noted, if you really mess one up and go down the cliff, there is an OB line, so you're not playing like an 800 foot uphill shot, but, um, you know, something to consider. If you've got a forehand, you'll, you'll love it on this one, and Kozlowski goes to it nicely. You do. At 432, you might think like backhand driver, but honestly, I think like the backhand mid-range, just the straight finish on it, is the mm -hmm. play here, if you're going this shot. Martin has potential. It's just so hard to get things to finish straight at this elevation, you know? It like mm -hmm. at some point it's going to catch up with the disc. Yeah, totally fair. Kim sidearm oh. play, the flex, that's a lot of flex. So going it's working. Super beef destroyer. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Circle 2 look probably. Over the top. Thumber style for day, a blue disc in the blue sky. Good luck. Yeah, I did. I gave him a little grief on his <laughs> disc color choice selection. He's got like a, a beat up glow, a blue, uh -huh. and a clear overhand disc. I'm like, dude. Can, can you get a yellow one? A pink one, maybe? <laughs> I know. Give me a pink. Yeah. Kozlowski didn't really want that laid up. I love the turnaround by Kai bit. in that last putt. We were jibber jabber, yeah. but it cracked me up. Uh huh. Coming back up the hill is Martin for two. Ah. Easy three at least. Day. Also finds the cage on his birdie bid. It's, like it's pars a, around. I was going to say, it's a really tough hole to like give full commit mm -hmm. to. You know, It's like if top of the world at Daylaw, if the road was a sheer cliff to nothingness. That's a great point. Yeah, good yeah. comp. We have a guy here from San Francisco, Dennis Flashner, in town, kind of playing, hanging with us, uh, helping with some of the Central Coast productions. And uh, he, during our practice round, he threw a wraith here, aired it off to the left, into infinity. We found it like five holes later at a drop zone on the island hole, just chilling, like magic. It was no way. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Good shot by Kessler, man. Like I said, it just was. so hard to get discs to finish straight. Yeah, um, it was just a little too high, a little lower than I think, mm -hmm. I think he parks it. Uh, look at a 14. Where are we going? Oof. Hole 14, welcome to the Pro Tour, Ian. This is, <laughs> Whoa. man, it feels like a 0% birdie for this level of field, but it has got to be the, one of the best holes on the course. 555 feet, essentially like corkscrewing down to the right, and then you see the pin is on the left side of the fairway, so essentially you need that like barreling to the right, but then late finish to get it up to the green. The trick is, is that it has to turn so far into the backhand flight. Um, apparently, there is no recorded birdies on this one. It's a newer, longer <laughs> pin position. Yep. Uh, uh -huh. Looking to change it now, though. Yeah, sure. Kozlowski, I think you like that tee shot for par. For par, you do. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's the play. The hole, I, I believe, averaged like 4.5 in the mm -hmm. tournament they Whoa. ran before. So three is great. That was a good-looking shot from Martin as well. Pretty good. I mean, 
the thing is, you're going to see his lie when we get down there. Um, oh, okay. You, it needs to bend right, like right, 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 big time. Can Kim make it bend enough? Is this too late, Corey? It's too late. Mm. Yep, it flattened out a little bit on him. I, th there's really no way to get to the basket on that like lefty backhand or righty sidearm. It's going to take, like, you know, you're up at elevation. The, the Chaz, we played with him, he said he's got it to, like, 45, 50 with an uplink. You know, just, like, slow, flippy, ride that pan huh. the whole way. Interesting. Great second there. They called these the Utah mozzarella sticks as well. Kind of bigger, no. badder than what they have going uh -huh. on at USCGC. <laughs> nice, dude. Kozlowski. Hopefully that works for a three. Kessler, his second. So you can see the lie that they have if you just go too far off to the left there. What an approach. <laughs> Almost dunked the thing, man. <laughs> that was amazing. Kim? Doesn't look like the worst lie. Uh -oh. There we go. Yeah. Hopefully there's a putt from that angle. Kozlowski for his three. Giving it up, you know, Paige Pearson it. That's yeah. not quite fine in the yeah. basket. Mm -hmm. Cam having to stretch this one out, but does so nicely for par. He's got long limbs, man. Big guy, you know, a lot of, lot of body to be working with. I, I like his skills, man, really. He's high on the ape index. Have you heard that yeah. one? <laughs> yes, long arms. <laughs> yep, yep. The opposite of me. Day. <laughs> Coming back for three? Yeah, perfect putt. Yeah, these stubs aren't getting 550 anytime soon. <laughs> Longer levers would be nice. So, so it's now detached and un dead and unattached, if you notice that like log situation. <laughs> and if you can move it with just your heel, you know? Yeah, exactly. It was decomposing. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Bogey for Joey, par for Kessler. You know, looking at the scorecard. Not score losing card, strokes to anybody. No. And and like I was saying, like not losing strokes to the field either. You know, it's at this point where I'm kind of like flipping through scores, seeing how our guys are doing. Everybody yeah, yeah. pretty much in the mix. You know, hot score at this point is six under for open, like in the in the, um, in the the clubhouse. So, you know, uh -huh. nobody out of it. Everybody just scrapping and clawing a bogey, not killing you. You just need to get out of here clean. What is our play on 15, sir? Woo, straight shot right at the basket. It is an island hole. What I'm flying over right now in the drone is a lot of swampiness, um, some marshiness. So they put an island up here and uh, drop zone off to the right. But it's a pretty big island. It's a pretty short hole. I think generally people are lining this one up for birdie. Martin up first. Oh, get lucky. What the fuck? enough Corey? it's enough it's on the island you can see those yellow flags just short basically mm -hmm. anything up into this tree line um you know as long as it's not crazy left or crazy right is going to be safe ace opportunity for kim honestly big time shouts the dennis flashner friend of the program he hit in the literal bucket and it bounced out no like, as close as humanly possible to an ace it was an ace and then oh wasn't. my god and then it wasn't and then it wasn't and you can see like Ooh, oh talk about that almost happened right there Oof. Yeah, it almost little, spiked it in for one. It was a little wow. divot or something, but basket is just so lit up right now. It's like perfect patch of sunlight waiting to get aced. Kozlowski's leaking left, but it should work for a, a look. That one was close, but he's on the island. He's good. Nice. Kessler? Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. The, the flick of the wrist. Dude, Kessler with like the trick putts today. Yeah. God, look at that shot right here, Corey. I know, I know. Oh, <laughs> seriously, dude. I was you hoping Joey, when, I was hoping yeah. he went in. You gotta make that putt, man, with a shot like that. Coming back for Brady is Kim. And Day almost grabbed a one. Easy two. Yeah. Two two holes in a row, Joey uh, Kozlowski losing strokes of the card, unfortunately. Mm. You know, he's not loving that. Yeah. They're looking for like a little indent divot, like where to hit, where to hit. Oh, 
just short. He didn't use anything but his arm right there, Corey. Did you see that? Literally. No, literally. Just oop, wristed yeah. it in there. <laughs> Great touch. <laughs> that makes up for that, that short miss earlier. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, you're not kidding, man. Yeah, just like, okay, hit the miss. That one doinks out. Whatever. Oh, Corey, my knees remember this hole from last year. Oh, <laughs> par three, 291, straight downhill. Straight um, downhill? Straight downhill. I mean, essentially, it... Any any shot plays, righty backhand, lefty forehand, lefty backhand, like as long as you're just nailing the ground, like 40 feet short uh-huh. of this thing, and just skipping right up to this tree. Um, plans are in the future to have a really drastic par four position or par four tee pad on this one, uh, but oh. for now we're playing the shorter par three and just kind of taking a beautiful three or four minute hike from the last hole of this one. Nice shot by Martin. Has a look for two, Kim. A little wider. Good shot, though. Yep, yeah, settles right there. Day. Looks like a thumber. Soup. Look at the action on that Merle. That is sick, I, dude. Dude, I, my God. <laughs> a lot of action. Wow. That was fun. Kozlowski, sidearm play. Oh. She a little wide. Yeah. Going with the mutant, generally a pretty overstable mid range. That thing just. I don't know, a little, caught the little fluke of the wrist, had some glide. Yeah. Hmm. Joey coming back up the hill for birdie. Ooh. Look good. Had the shape. Mm-hmm. Tried up just short. Martin for back-to-back birdies. Uh, Kessler. You better than that, kid. He is. Kim for his back-to-back birdie. The stroke is nice, isn't it, Corey? Just the stroke's right nice, it. man. The the disc feel yeah. it's one of those things where the disc feels heavy and light at the same time coming out of his hand. Like that is that's yeah. the, the mark of a good putter, I think. Hmm. I love that thought, buddy. Yeah, floating through the air like lightness and then comes in like a cement block on the chains. So I don't yeah. totally mm-hmm. know how to do it, but some people do. Yeah. Joey was in for par. That is Martin's par. We saw a day birdie mixed in there. Nice, easy swing. Kai Kim. Beautiful backlit mountains. It's so wow. cool. Like, it seems like every every peak, every little area on the mountain, there's like a little, I mean, granted, I'm like a mountain ski person, so maybe this is just standard, but like there's lifts huh? in every direction out here to like every one of these peaks. It's, it's this, unreal. It's like one of the world's premier ski resorts, Corey. Like, it's amazing, man. Is yeah. it real? I see. I'm I'm yeah, wildly yeah. ignorant about these sort of things, but like, I'm yeah. not shocked. Like, the property is unbelievable. Yeah. Seventeen. What are we doing, buddy? Very cool hole. Oh. Um, exactly. So, oh, the first shot, you're just going boom, boom, as far as you can make it down this field. Second shot is going to be a blind, generally righty backhand hyzer. There's a uh, big pine tree, like an evergreen tree, just long of the basket that people will try and hyzer in front of. But for right now, it's just what you got in the tank. Let it loose. Ooh, this is a smash out of Kim. Great form. Just crunched it. There's this big rock in the middle of the fairway. Um, you can kind of see it off the tee here. Generally, uh-huh. you just want to be long of that. That'll at least give you a puncher's chance at just ch- chucking one up to the into the green here, but um, these guys, I don't think they're really concerned with just getting past that rock. They're all going way far. Yeah, they got that pro power. Martin. Nice and easy, smooth. Good shape. Just long of that rock. Got everything, mm-hmm. yeah. Kozlowski, bit of a slow stretch for Joey. Needs to get going here. Yeah, fading out a little early, a lot early, actually. Um, definitely mm-hmm. going to pinch his angle into the green. Not impossible, but you'd much prefer to be like on this side or where the other two players are. Is that yellow flag the pin down there, Corey? That, no, you can't see it, can you? No, you can't see it. See, that? there's that big okay. evergreen tree he was kind of going at. You want to just short it. Copy. Um, beautiful that green. One, yeah. <laughs> Tough one to stick, though. Yes. It's like a weird angle. You really have to be coming in like, Like at this angle, essentially, you know what I mean? Kind of like dropping Mm -hmm. on it. Um, That one is going to be quite a ways left, though. He had a lot of room to go. 
day throwing two. Thummer this time. I, I actually really like the shape. This is genuinely like I think a Thummer Whoa. advantage here. Obviously he juiced Oh it. yeah. But just mm -hmm. as far as direction coming into the green, I think it plays nice. Kim, can he get this forehand to stop in the right spot? Best of the bunch, though? Ish, yeah, definitely best of the bunch. Yeah. Long look at birdie out of Kessler. That should turn into a par. Same can be said for Day. Wow. That was an effort. Kozlowski. Hopefully that doesn't go too far. Coming back for par. Yep, not too, not too much work to do, but you kind of want a birdie on this one, I think. It's definitely gettable, isn't it? Kim almost gets it, but splashes yeah. out. That would have been a turkey as well, and a, and a seven down round. Cleaning up par is Martin. Day the same. And there's Kim's. Yep, bunch of pars. Not that uncommon on this hole, I don't think, but obviously it's one you'd like to birdie. God, look at that mountain. <laughs> Brian Guy's giving us a great look at the Kim drive. Hey, that's Peter. That's Sleepy Legs right there. Show some respect. Oh my goodness. Excuse me there. Excuse me. Thank we got a roll reversal. <laughs> we do, don't we? We got everybody can do all the jobs out here. You guys are all too good. Yeah. Hole um, 18, Corey. What are we doing? Speaking about too good, dude. This hole is awesome. Uh, hole 18, you're chucking it down the mountain for the very last time. 520 feet. It's essentially blind off of the T. You know, you can see the tree line but you just gotta find the little pocket of openness that slide that hyzer right back in. Um, there is a lost disc drop zone because I think that's fairly common here, but if you go in early, there is so many trees in between you and the basket. So I think the miss, if you want to, is gonna be a little right or a little long. Okay. Kim, what is this doing, Corey? Neither of those things. Yeah, it doesn't look, look like it. No, short and left, and you'll see it here in a second. Oh that oh it's, boy. it's trouble. We'll hope for the best from there for Kai. Day. Is that wide enough, Corey? This is definitely wide enough. It's just that it was a little up. He threw a zone there, so I think he oh. really wanted to commit to like the, the nose down angle instead of the nose up. Mm -hmm. You know, roots, probably a pretty routine par, but yeah, you definitely want to commit to something a little more like this. Martin's drive looking good. Still a little short, maybe? No, nope. it's not at all. Wow. Right off Kessler. Tree. Sitting in position for the birdie. Beautiful. Kozlowski. Looks high, Corey. Is it going to work? Eh, it's a little too high. Again, like at this elevation, if it gets any air under that flight plate, it is just going to lift, rise, and launch off to the left. The day approach for par looks beautiful. Really yeah, nicely nice, done. Nice and controlled. You see all these rocks in the green. Can be tricky to stick it. You were kidding about this look for Kim, Corey. <laughs> oh, my I mean, goodness. Did he get nice close? Approach. It, nice, it, close enough. Nice approach. Okay. Um, you know, maybe 18, 20 feet. Kozlowski smartly wanting nothing to do with that look. Uh, lays it up. For par. Kim. That's a good round, Corey. Six down. Really good round. is going to be tied for the lead going into round two, which will be over at Creekside. So a much more scorable course, I would say, more park style. So okay. exciting to see him on just a completely different brand of golf. Martin finishes with the birdie. Get it, that, dude. And gets that the four. Is, that, is, that gets the four, and that gets him on the lead card for round two. Oh, no way. Oh, that's yep. awesome. That's huge, man. It's huge. There's, Great there's, birdie uh, to get. There's... A few players tied at four, but he is going to have that lowest uh, PDJ number. Nice, man. Solid round by the gents. Two fours, a six, and a two. Everybody under par, though. 
everybody under par and the round cruised man about three hours 20 minutes or so so nice really like no major backups couple holes where we had to wait a sec but i mean easy breezy smooth round and thanks to our players you know six four four neg two nobody really playing too poorly you know joey kozlowski <laughs> wanted a few more birdies but he's yep. in the mix clean from kim Corey, zero bogeys very clean. A couple of missed putts that he was, you know, maybe disappointed in, but I think he's going to be licking his chops here on lead card with a couple of other killers here. Oh, he's tied with my man Brock Shepard. I don't know yep. Lucas. I, I don't know but. Lucas either, but he is from Laramie, Wyoming. Brian knows him, and okay. apparently he's a quiet crusher. So excited to see him play. Cool. That should be a fun watch. Thanks for watching round one. We'll catch you in round two.